Topic, the eclipse will go down as one of the most memorable experiences in our area for years to come. But looking directly at the sun, even during an eclipse, can do some serious damage to your eyes. Meteorologist Matt Willoughby joins us live in studio to kind of break down what doctors are suggesting when it comes to buying the proper glasses for this thing, Matt. Yeah, Jeff, I went over to Prometica Wildwood where they gave me an in-depth summary on the safety of solar glasses and what to look for in faulty glasses uh, that you may find online. A good pair of glasses here that should work. Solar eclipse glasses are essential for viewing this year's once-in-a-lifetime event. While it's a fantastic opportunity to observe one of the most dramatic astronomical events you can witness from Earth, it's important that one does so safely. The reason it's real important to go to an accredited site and is that unfortunately unscrupulous vendors have been selling eclipse glasses or labeled as eclipse glasses with ISO labeling that have not been certified or vetted. The proper glasses used during an eclipse should appear to be a pitch black while wearing them. If you see through them, they may be a faulty pair. Glasses we would use to view an eclipse are several thousand times darker or stronger than your regular sunglasses. So you don't want to wear regular sunglasses or even several pairs of regular sunglasses aren't going to do what an ISO certified eclipse glasses or viewer will do. Getting the best look at the solar eclipse is a dream for many across the country. So sticking with the preferred pair is the safest choice. You also don't want to look at an eclipse or view an eclipse through a lens like a binocular or a camera with eclipse glasses even on. Uh, to do that, photographers use special filters on the outside of a lens when they're photographing or viewing uh, through binoculars or cameras or things like that. Our next step was testing to see if any glasses were ISO certified and to see if any weren't to use. Look specifically at the filters. So you want to make sure that there's no space between the filter and the side or the frame itself. You want to make sure there's no scratches and no perforations. And then when you put them on, you should have a comfortable view of the sun and what you're looking at. If it feels bright, uh, if it looks blurry or uncomfortable, uh, stop viewing and don't use those glasses. Get another pair. Well, Dr. Josie of Prometica recommends that you visit the American Astronomical Society website where you can view a list of uh, the recommended and approved solar eclipse vendors that sell accredited ISO solar eclipse glasses to view the total solar eclipse on April 8th. We have a link to that and more on W2L.com. Reporting in studio, Matt Willoughby for W2L 11. And you can get more information on the 2024 total solar eclipse sent right to your phone. All you need to do is text the word eclipse and you do that to 419-248-1100.